welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Greater Duel Yusaku vs Knight of Annoy. So in this video, we're going to be checking out uh, Anime Duel with the characters involved as I mentioned in the video and we're going to grade it for Yu-Gi-Oh! Realism. With that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video. Buddy, this is your first time speed dueling, right? Bet you don't know the differences between this and a regular duel. Keep it short. First off, the playing field is different. You can only have up to three monsters instead of five. Same with spells and traps. Does not sound too bad. Let's speed duel. Time to kick ass. Alright, I'll make the first move. What a perfect hand. This duel is already over, Playmaker. Perfect hands are the norm, not the exception. To start things off, I summon Hackworm. I can automatically summon it when you have no monsters. That's really convenient. Good thing I got to go first. I see it only has 400 attack points, and that must mean that you're up to something. Highly unlikely. That's right, because I'm bringing out a second Hackworm. I don't see any difference. Playmaker, I told you you should have never challenged me. I trip you by two pack worms. Normal summon is for nerds. To summon my mightiest monster. Now arise, Cracking Dragon. How do you like that, Playmaker? He already has a monster with 3,000 attack points. What can I do? You don't get to play, you just lose. This draw is make or break. It's my turn. I draw! Perfect. What do you want? I will give it to you. I place two cards face down. Break it. Then I summon... Cyburst Wizard! Okay. And so the duel is about to start, and so we'll have a grading system of 10 out of 10. Now, any faults that I find will decrease that grade. Well, aren't you full of surprises? Big deal. Your monster's already much weaker than my Cracking Dragon. And I'll make it even weaker. Cracking Dragon lowers Cyber's Wizard's attack points by 200 for each of its levels. Is that fair? And you take damage equal to that amount. Crack him! Sure, you may have greatly weakened my monster, but Cyber's Wizard has other tricks. He can switch your dragon from attack to defense. Cyber's Algorithm! Your dragon may be strong offensively, but it has no defense. Furthermore, when my Cybers attacks, he can deal you damage even if your monster's in defense mode. Attack! Illusion Spike! Or maybe not. Only a monster with a higher level can destroy Cracking Dragon. So much expectations, yet it flopped. I end my turn so Cybers Wizard regains. It's my turn. And since we're battling in a speed duel, I am now allowed to activate my skill. Okay, and we're already finding a fault here in um, this duel. So let's go over to, as I'll hold my sword there, let's go over to the next slide to see. And so we have already our first disqualification here. As we've seen the Knights of Hanoi here, as I put my sword back on my hilt. As you see the Knights of Hanoi here, activate a skill. Now, AI, can you explain to us, like, again, what a spear duel consists of? First off, the playing field is different. You can only have up to three monsters instead of five. Same with spells and traps. Okay, thank you. And now that that's been explained, we can see why he gets an immediate disqualification as he's, as he's done something that has not been stated in the rules. And to just confirm this, can we get uh, an in-universe character to explain, uh, to see whether he has played by the rules or has he cheated? Let's uh, get a quote on that. The Hanoi are a bunch of no-good cheating cheaters! Okay, a cheating cheater? 
Okay, I don't know if that kind of works, but you know what? We'll go with it. So we have an in-universe confirmation that he has cheated. We can uh, qualify that he's cheated. So he is disqualified and, and four points have been lost here. So it's now at a uh, measly six out of ten so far in grading wise. But so far, this duel is already being disqualified, but we're still going to continue on. Let's go. I activate my skill double draw to draw two cards. One moment. I need to look up this nonsense. If your chances were slim before, with these two cards, you have no chance at all. I activate the spell DDoS Attack. That lets me send two more copies of DDoS Attack from my deck to the graveyard. You'll now take 800 points of damage for each copy of that card in my graveyard for a grand total of 1,600 points. Fly to hero! The Storm, you should worry more about me. I place this face down and switch Cracking Dragon to attack mode. Then I equip this spell on Cracking Dragon, Air Cracking Storm! Now when my dragon destroys your monster, my dragon can attack you again! If he destroys your wizard, the second attack will eliminate the rest of your life points! I know that! You never stood a chance. Just be happy you lasted this long. Attack! And never bother us again! I activate my trap! Three strikes barrier! My monster cannot be destroyed in battle. But it doesn't protect you from damage. Switch to the other way! Huh? Go, Storm Access! And so here we have again um, the thing with Yusaku here, he's activating a skill. As we've stated before, skill was not something that was mentioned when I was explaining the rules of speed dueling. Which means this is not a part of speed dueling in universe. And if nothing is explained, if both players have not come to agreement of certified rules, then it is classified as cheating. And with his skill, it's also classified as cheating regardless because he's take, getting a card outside of his extra deck. You've got to remember that Yusaku here um, is activating a skill that allows him to, dare I say it, get a extra deck monster. Now from this thing called the, what, the Data Storm, I believe? Yeah, that's, that's definitely not going to fly, so we're definitely moving our four points. And it's, and it's going to be now at a, at a low end of two out of 10. So it's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Let's continue with the duel and go with the final grade here. This changes nothing. I activate my trap. Pulse Mines. Your monster switches to defense as well, so you can't attack. Oh, really? Then I summon Stack Reviver. Summon all the monsters you want, because Pulse Mines will keep switching them to defense. And in fact, summoning that monster has sealed my victory, you fool. Because Cracking Dragon will now deal you 400 points of damage. And 400 is all you have left. It's game over. No way. You're alive? Of course. It seems that I know more about your Cracking Dragon's abilities than you do. It deals me damage equal to the amount of attack points Stack Reviver lost. But this gizmo only has 100 attack points, so I only lost 100 life points, keeping me in this duel and keeping victory away from you. Huh. But you still won't win because you're just focusing on defense. You should probably stop making assumptions. I activate the spell card Effect Cowl from my hand. Since I have a Cypress on my field, your effects can no longer deal me damage. And next I play... My Trap, Cypress Beacon. Since I took damage, this beacon calls out a Cypress from my deck straight to my hand. Which I immediately summon to my field! 
With backup secretary, I have three monsters on my side. <laughs> three would be greater than one if my one wasn't so much more powerful than all your monsters. Then With this card, victory will be mine! In that case, I'll have my monsters unite and fight. Say what? No! My poor heart, I can't take it. No! Cyber's wizard and backup secretary in the Link Arrows. Here's what makes Link monsters different. Link monsters don't have levels and can't be put in defense mode. Which means your card's effects don't work against Decode Talker. <laughs> Next, I activate Stack Reviver's ability. By a monster with a lower level. Oh, wait. He said Link monsters don't have levels. Okay, and so we can see here the final grade for this duel is 2 out of 10. Realistically, really, the duel is a new count as cheating was involved and people have not followed the rules, so it's disqualified. But we're continuing the duel on, so it's a 2 out of 10. Completely not realistic. Final verdict, we stop the duel with rules followed. I believe that's a verdict that we can all agree with. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So tune in next time when I'll talk about other duels we are going to grade for Yu-Gi-Oh! Realism. Hope to see you soon. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate, right, is in your hands.